Hello everyone. In this quick video, I'll be going over Eilis International, Fomocorp and INND latest updates. To begin with, Eilis International announces that Canadian brokers may now trade Eilis stock. Eilis International had a cease trade order applied in 2012 due to various administrative and filing deficiencies at that time. This cease trade order meant that Eilis securities could not be traded in Canada. A new management team led by new CEO Nicholas Link took over Eilis in January 2021 and immediately began to remedy all the previous administrative and reporting deficiencies by bringing the company up to date with its regulatory filings and reporting while simultaneously acquiring three companies since taking over. As of 2nd June 2021, Canadian authorities officially revoked the cease trade order in Canada, allowing Isla stock to be traded through Canadian brokers. The Canadian authorities also approved the name change from Illustro Pictures International to Eilis International. The state of Nevada also recognizes the name change to Eilis International. However, SEC FINRA will only approve the name change in the USA public markets once the company has submitted its Form 10, which the management is currently busy preparing alongside the audit to become fully reporting. The company is preparing and strengthening its back office governance reporting executive and non-executive board of members in preparation for rapid growth and a number of acquisitions which are in the pipeline, including those which are currently being negotiated by management in the United States. This is all in addition to the company's current exponential organic growth with new product updates and launches. Eilis is acting in preparation for delivering on the company's vision to uplist to a major exchange as soon as possible. Whilst the company is currently focused heavily on acquisitions, the organic growth is very significant. The company plans to roll out a number of new products in the second half of this year and in an important strategic move, it plans to open a facility in the USA within the next three to four months whilst also expanding its efforts and footprint in India. The company and its management have been performing very well and continue to meet targets consistently with team forecasting continued exponential growth. If anyone of you is interested, the company provides regular updates to the public via their Twitter handle. So it is highly recommended that current and future investors follow the handle for regular updates. Now, coming to Formocorp, on June 3rd, an article came out that Formocorp acquisition target Smart Guard Solutions LLC establishes revenue sharing alliance with disinfection services company. As per the article, SmartGuard Solutions LLC, that is, an acquisition target of Formacorp, has entered into a strategic revenue sharing alliance with GNW Technologies LLC of not just a field, Virginia, to jointly market and finance SGS's A disinfecting UVC light fan. CyberClean is a technology-focused company and is a pioneer in the integration of autonomous mobile robots in the workplace with more than 1,000 robotic deployments for major companies in 2020. It has a diverse group of clients which includes, among others, large hospitals, universities, schools and property management companies. At the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, CyberClean began its commercial disinfecting services with the introduction of the Smart Guard Disinfecting Autonomous Mobile Robot. Most recently, CyberClean expanded its disinfection services by offering SGSS A disinfecting UVC light fan in a pilot test program at Cushman and Wakefield. Vikram Grover, Formocorp CEO, said the CyberClean connection is an important marketing step for SGS as its A disinfecting fan can now be presented to clients by a technology savvy sales team. With SGSS as a service business model, we continue to see enormous potential to develop a continuing stream of annuitized type revenues which will benefit FOMO shareholders. Coming to Inesco Hearing Technologies, INND Post next financial disclosure. This is for the COVID quarter. Three more disclosures, one attorney letter and OTC markets will have everything it will need to turn INND pink current. Next filing coming this week. This so this filing was done on 7th of June. 2021. It had quarterly report, financial and disclosure statements ending 30th June 2020. And as per the latest tweet, they received their eight hearing screening kiosks that were custom designed by Fortune 25 company, whose name is protected under NDA. Kiosk planned launch for Northern CA this summer. So they shared this picture of the eight kiosks and a picture is worth 1000 words they say and only 992 kiosks are left to go in this batch. So hopefully all this is good news for the investors. 